Boy, for parents, it just makes you sick to see that. It seems that more and more, too, we're hearing about bullying, especially on the Internet, and deadly consequences because of it. I Skyped earlier this afternoon with international activist Gabriella Van Ray as she traveled to her next speaking engagement. She did it right there from the car because she's passionate about this, because she literally wrote the book on bullying and how to stop it. Cyberbullying is even more coward. So I tell the children they are responsible for pushing that share button. They say that they need to validate themselves by putting up something negative about someone else. So I'm trying to tell them that that doesn't help at all. And to actually stand up, become an active witness, even on cyberbullying, and to actually say, this is not okay. Nobody does that. And then there's one more point about cyberbullying and what happened to uh, the Sedwick case in Tampa, Florida, is the parents said that she was clueless. And I would like to inform parents every time I'm in a school, every time I'm at a station, I am very accessible. They are more than welcome to call me and I will talk to them. The smartphone is a weapon in the children's hand that used them to hurt other people, including Rebecca. So what do you say to the parents then of the, the kid who may be the bullier? What I would like the parent to do, if it is the bully, to find out what is going on. The bully sometimes starts without intent. It's kind of funny. It was a funny picture, but then it feels powerful. We need to find a value and standard within the cyber world. And we have not found that, neither for the adults, by the way. Well, it's amazing. You know, she said that a lot of times this starts because the kids want to get a lot of likes on Facebook or what have you. Uh, you know, she's really passionate about this and she means it when she says she would like for you to reach out to her if you're having a problem with bullying or if you'd like some advice. Uh, we've linked to her, her YouTube, her Twitter, her Facebook. I've done it on my personal account. Uh, we've done it with the WFAA 4 p.m. hashtag and we have it on our website under links at WFAA.com. Definitely a conversation that needs to be had. Uh,